Hi everyone, welcome back to virtualbrigade.com. Uh, in this video, I'll show you what are the different uh, whips that are installed on the ESXi host and what is the functionality of those whips. So, from the ESX CLI software whip list, and when you grab for NSX, you will see there were 24 different whips are installed on the ESXi host. Each VIP is responsible for a different functionality. So the NSX uh, aggregation service, which is the service running on the ESX host and also runs on the NSX manager. If you log into the NSX manager and you can, you, uh, you can find the aggregation service that is running on the NSX manager. The host specific aggregation service will uh, fetch us the runtime information and it will present it to the NSX manager. And there were some NSX common libraries and context engine is installed on the ESX host. And the next service is the NSX discovery agent, the NSX DA agent, which is running on the ESXi host, which uh, provides or which uh, collects the data about your hypervisor version, the virtual machines running on the host, and the networking uh, and the network interfaces of your virtual machine and the ESXi host. And this will provide it to your NSX uh, manager, which is basically uh, useful for the purposes of troubleshooting. The next uh, VIP that is installed is the NSX uh, ESX data path. Uh, this is the NSXT data plane uh, packet processing functionality uh, VIP. And the next one is NSX exporter. This is the host agent that uh, basically reports the runtime statistics to the aggregation service and uh, that is uh, and then it will uh, send it to your nsx manager so the 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 nsx exporter service will feed the information to the nsx aggregation service the nsx aggregation will, service will then uh, send it to the nsx uh, manager the nsx host will provide the metadata for the web bundle that is installed on the host the NSX LLDP uh, basically supports the uh, provides the support for your link layer distribution uh, discovery protocol, which is a link layer uh, protocol used by your uh, networking devices uh, for advertising their identities, uh, capabilities, and the neighbors or near VLAN. The NSX MPA, so this is the uh, management plane agent which is running on the host. And this particular agent is responsible for communicating with your NSX manager. There is a, an MPA running on each and every node that you have configured. And this particular agent is responsible for communicating the uh, information from your host to the NSX uh, manager. The NSX uh, Nest DB, this particular VB is installed uh, on the host. And it's uh, this is the local database available on the host uh, stores the configuration information of your ESXi host and the KVM host. The NSX NetCPA it is a local control plane agent which is the uh, control plane agent running on the host and it is respond uh, and it will communicate to the central control plane which are your uh, NSX controllers that we have deployed in a VM form factor. The NSX NetCPA is called as a local control plane and there is a central control plane running on the NSX controller. The NetCPA and the CCP will communicate with each other or exchanges the information. The NSX uh, platform client which is basically the command line interface uh, provides the central CLI command line. There were some Python libraries installed. And the NSX SFHC is the uh, service running on the host, which is basically responsible for installing and configuring your NSX modules. The NSX, uh, NSX uh, support bundle client, which is uh, which provides the log bundle support. If you want to collect the logs from the NSX manager, the host will report to the NSX manager and will send the log bundle through this particular uh, web and the NSXA then uh, uh, this is 
uh, this particular service or the agent is running on the host which basically configures the host networking uh, when you promote the ESXi host or the KVM host as a transport node. The NSXA is responsible for configuring the switch something called as a host switch. So when you promote the ESXi host as a transport node from the NSX manager, the NSX manager will be communicating through the NSXA agent to configure the host switch. The NSX CLI, the NSX CLI command line to uh, perform some operations on the ESXi host. So to perform the NSX specific commands on the host, you will get into the NSX CLI command line. So these are the list of WIPs that are installed on the ESXi host. And let me execute ESX CLI system module list and you can grab for nsx to get a list of modules installed when you prepare the host as a transport node so the nsx uh, core will provide the core functionalities of nsxt the nsx uh, trace flow provides the trace flow the nsx fc nsx v switch which configures the host switch on the ESXi host. When you convert your fabric node as a transport node, during the transport node creation, you need to associate the host switch. So when you specify the host switch, the NSX manager is going to invoke the NSX V switch to implement the new virtual switch or to implement a new host switch nsx uh, bfd which is the bidirectional forwarding detection uh, if you want to detect the file use on the upstream uh, logical routers or the physical routers we use the bfd to detect the file use so the nsx uh, bfd module is responsible for that and the nsx uh, switch security and the nsx kcp NSX IPV fix, IP fix, and the NSX VDL2 provides the logical switching. NSX VDRB provides the logical routing. NSX VSIP module, which provides the firewalling services, and the NSX uh, DNE, the distributed uh, network encryption. So one of the module is NSX DNE. So these are the list of uh, modules that are installed on the ESXi host. So the same set of modules are also installed on the KVM host. Let me log into the KVM host and see what are the different uh, packages are installed. So you can grab, uh, you can uh, execute dpkg hyphen hyphen list and then you can grab for NSX. So from the screen you can see the number of packages are installed. So the NSX agent, the aggregation service, the NSX CLI, the architecture of your KVM implementation and the ESXi implementation is different. So that is one of the reasons you might see uh, different uh, 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 WIPs installed but basically provides the same set of uh, functionality. So your NSX agent is installed and the NSX agent and the NSX aggregation service, the NSX CLI, the NSX discovery agent, the NSX CA host agent, the host status reporter, the hyperbus, the LLDP logical exporter, MPA, NSDB, NetCPA, platform client, SFHC, support bundle client and the transport node status reporter so these are the different packages that are installed on the uh, kvm host and you can see the version that is being installed and uh, what uh, a brief description of uh, each uh, pack so these are these are the list of uh, packages that are installed on the kvm host 
in my next video i'll show you how to add the vcenter server as a compute manager in the nsx manager